Previously on Survivor. Aaron's kind of, I don't know, she's just not great for her team morale. Actually, I've been having very good, I've been having very good luck with my alliances. Aaron is annoying as hell. I cannot stand her. She's like a blister that is starting to grow, and if we don't slice it off now and deal with it, then by the time we have to deal with it, it's gonna take a lot more medical care. <laughs> I've found some really great incriminating texts that he sent me that literally him saying, we should bully Aaron. Like, shit like that. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen record every text conversation I've had with Will, every text conversation I have with Emily, all of our alliance chats, draft up an email. <laughs> Check their emails. <laughs> what? what? First things first, Aliza, I will take it back. <laughs> you only got to work for like half an hour. <laughs> 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 Alright, Aaron, All right, once again, immunity is back up for grabs. However, we also have a second immunity necklace that will also be up for grabs tonight because we will be having two tribals this week. Whoa. Everybody can drop your buffs. What? what? We're going to split you into two tribes of five. Whoa. Wait, you don't know back. What? It's basically Whoa. confused. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, dang. <laughs> All right, for today's challenge, you'll each have two solo cups. For the first 10 minutes, you will be have, you'll have a tennis ball in between them. You'll have to hold the two solo cups holding the ball above your head. Pretend. After those 10 minutes, we will go to a harder stage where you will have to have a ball also in each of those solo cups that cannot fall out. Once you're out of this challenge, there'll be four pink buffs and four orange buffs at the far table. You can go over there and claim the buff of your choice. Those people will be on your tribe. First place will then be safe and win immunity and we'll get first pick of the tribe that they're on second place. We'll not get to pick what tribe they're on, but we'll be safe this week. Yeah, yeah. All right, the we will draw us for spots so and get started. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then we just have three and three on our own. Three, three, one of you and one of you. No, we have three, three, one, one. Oh, four. We'd have four and three. All right. I think we're good. Let's break it up. All right. This challenge is on. Emily, Dylan, Cassie, Will, Emily, Dylan, Wendy. Devin drops, and immediately Austin and Brady will continue for you can first keep saying, and second Keep your hands place. up. Keep your hands up. We'll continue for first and second place. What do you say? My thought process was split Dylan and Cassie up and grab buffs. And so I was the first one to drop and grabbed a bus and buffered it away. And Dylan and Cassie were right behind me and they, they knew they needed to be on a tribe together. I grabbed, I was gonna grab an orange anyway, but as I was coming up, I heard Cassie say, like, Aaron, we believe in you, grab an orange. Like, she wanted me on the, that same tribe as them. So I grabbed an orange and then it was just Emily B and Devin. Um, who each had to take a buff. And then it was like Devin and I standing there and there was just like one on each and like neither was like a really good situation and we didn't really know what to do. And, and Devin ended, just, ended up just like taking it and like going over to the other tribe and then I was on Sabu Sabu with um, Dylan, Cassie, Aaron. All right, on the Orange Tribe, we have Aaron, Dylan, Cassie, and Emily B, which leaves Will, Aliza, Devin, and Emily P on the Pink Tribe. Austin and Brady are both immune this week. The winner will pick which of those tribes they would like to join. Absolute mad dash out of the gate. Essentially, all eight other people dropped within 20 seconds leaving Brady and Austin to fight it out. Wait, why can't Austin? 
one of us oh, is we have to. Awesome. We're in a much better spot than we were two seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Are you allowed to drop 8, after? Once, once I hit 0, you're good. Okay. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You are all good. Yep, you are all good. Oh. All, right. Okay. all right, this challenge is back on. There's a ball in each of the side solo cups as well as the middle. If any of those balls hits the ground, you are out of this challenge, although you are still safe this week. We will go until somebody drops. Austin's ball in the middle sliding a little bit. Austin very focused. Brady just chilling and having a side conversation. Brady also rock solid. Austin's ball a little off center. Austin doing his best to hold on. The ball in the middle slipping slightly. Brady has not really moved. And with that, Austin drops. Brady Ooh. wins. Both are immune. All right. Brady and Austin, come and get it. Brady, choose your buff as well. Brady goes for orange. Yeah. Which means Austin Lost gets red pink. pink. <laughs> Gilbert still needs a girlfriend. <laughs> I love that that's a joke now. Ooh. Ooh. Brady is safe on the so Orange Tribe this week. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Austin, your eyes have never popped before. Really? Thank you. <laughs> and Austin Woo! is safe and on the Pink Tribe this week. Both of you guys will go to Tribal Council. The only thing left to take care of. Brady, yeah. you also get to decide which tribe will go first. At Tribal? Yes. Yeah, All right, Brady's decided for his yeah, tribe to go second, which means Pink, you will be at Tribal Council first this week. Austin will not be voted out. Brady will also not be voted out. That's so all we got for you. <laughs> That's all we got for you this week. Grab your stuff, head on out. Good night. And then on Ben's way out, he says, check your email. Um, and that he has a crush on Devin, which is hilarious. And adorable, and I, I ship it. Probably, sure. to be honest, Erin's gonna spend the next week reading a lot of text messages that are gonna piss her off. A she lot. might not like me after she sees what she's about to read. Yeah. The beginning of the game, the the messages Wait, that were released. Ben sent the messages ben. that were released. I know, I know, two of them were they one, a conversation they, between Ben, me, and him, revealing. She when also and revealed things. that we had an alliance with Jesse at the beginning of the game. Oh my god. Which we hadn't told anybody. Especially Erin. She's the key Erin one we didn't, didn't tell. <laughs> Then the biggest, juiciest part of Ben's email is the um, the screen recordings from his chats with Emily and Will, and Emily, Will, and Jesse. It's just like that tribal mentality where it's like part of the culture of the Alliance on day one with them was trash talking this girl, and it's fucked up, and like that it just happened. And in those chats are mostly things about me. dumb I am, and how bad at the game I am, but also how much of a threat I am, and uh, and most of them are personal attacks from Emily to me. Ben literally took horrible, cruel things that were said about someone, and he published them about that person without their permission. Because I don't think that I'm a person, like, I didn't think I was a person that, like, people would feel that way about, um, it was just a lot of, especially Emily. Now I see why she felt so very bad when she was apologizing to me. Ben, you sneaky little bastard, like, you sent that email, but then, like, he deleted messages, like, of him being even nastier than Will and I were being. Like, I would, I'll, I'll pull up my phone and show you, like, he, he called her names, and just, like, he deleted it because he didn't want to look bad. I haven't been hurt this bad, like, as a person. Like, I don't know if I've ever, like, been hurt this bad. 
like after that email was sent, I was ready to punch Ben in the face. Like if it wasn't assault, I would have punched him. But like, yeah, probably not a good idea. <laughs> You know what? I remember That's how I moment. had a moment where I was like, okay, we can be cool. Yeah, it's no. Just a game. Yeah. I'm gonna ace fuck him. <laughs> I was right the first time when I said fuck him. Like, wow. As of right now, um, I have basically decided to end any game relationship that I have with Emily P. Um, and also, I am not sure that I want to have a personal relationship with her after this. So, tune in to next week at week's episode of Will Aaron pull herself out of the shitstorm of the day. Because that's where I'm at at this point. But in the end, Ben went home, um, which was what we planned. But as he like, as like the final vote is read with his name on it, he sends out this massive email, which like blew up this game. Oh my God, he just dropped a bomb and everything is shut. Never sending a text oh again. Gosh. Wait, that's so fucked. This is really fucked. This is like a little mean. This is like really mean actually. Like, I feel really bad for Anne right now. She's a human. Like, this is, like, really sad to hear. Reading it through was, like, inhumane. Like, I was, like, like, I don't understand. Like, people, like, have this, like, lack of humanity in this game that I cannot comprehend. Like, where is your empathy? Like, Erin is a person, and the things they said about her being annoying or, like, rude or frustrating or babysitting her and it's all just like trash that was just so unnecessary because in my opinion Erin's a good person and maybe she came into things a day late and so they were frustrated by her but this is crossing a huge line you don't do that like you don't do that like I don't understand hey have you read those messages that Ben sent out yet yeah I read them yeah I'm reading them right now they're like horrible I'm so sorry yeah yeah Emily and Will said horrible things about Aaron, mainly, um, and they just seemed like entirely different people in those messages, and I think it went to a really unnecessary, like, completely unnecessary personal level, like, it was like cyberbullying, but she wasn't there, it was like cyberbullying behind Aaron's back. No, there were so many personal attacks, and I just feel like that, that, like, that has no place anywhere, like, not in this game, not anywhere. So, like, if you, no. like, I'm so sorry that they said all those things. Like, if you need anything, like, just let me know. You know, like, I'm always here to talk. Wow. That was pretty shitty. It was revealed that, like, Emily and Will like, mainly Emily just, like, didn't seem to be very nice people, and our thing, Sabu Sabu's thing has sort of been to, like, work with the nice people, because we're wholesome, so. Which is, like, I'm so sick of how holier-than-thou Sabu Sabu has to be. They're just gonna go through the whole game and never hurt anyone? Really? I'm so okay. sick of being the bad guy. Like, again, I'm, I, I will tell you right now, like, if it gets to the end, like, Sabu Sabu or basically anyone else, Yeah. I can't be sitting there and be like, Anyone from your tribe played an amazing game. And so I think one thing is for sure that she's not going to want to work with Emily and Will. He's a lot more remorseful. He's a lot more remorseful. He's so, like, Emily was, like, pretty straight, <coughs> like, sad, but straight-faced. 
yeah. about it, whereas I could see Will was visibly like shaken about it. I can't take it. It's like I have all these new friends and we all lie to each other every day, constantly. And I know it's just a game, but it's literally my real life right now. It's like every day is this for months on end. Just lying and lying and lying and betraying and really hurting people deeply. I never want to do anything like this ever again. 39 days in a jungle would have been nothing. This, this goes for a hundred days of just lying to your friends every day. Her and Will both said terrible things, but hers were probably worse. Hers were worse in my opinion. And she acts like she's all nice. Emily shows remorse also about Aaron. She shows just as much remorse as I do, but I show it openly. I allow my genuine emotions like that to come out in the game and people see it. Maybe Emily thinks it's not a good move to do that, and so she holds it inside. She shows it to her boyfriend at home. I mean, I live, I mean, look, like I got pants hanging from a clothes hanger right here, you know, from my ceiling. Like I have the ultimate bachelor pad. I don't have someone to come home to and, and tell. And so my emotions come out to these people and maybe they see that as more genuine. I'm not judging. I'm not saying anything's better or worse. I'm just, The way it ended up is me, Emily, P, uh, yeah, me, Emily, P, Will, Devin, Austin on one tribe, and then the rest on the other tribe. No matter what, we all made the jury together. <laughs> We're all friends. We're all friends. We're all friends. We all like friends each other. after this. I like you, I like you, I like you, I like you, I like, you, I like, I like me. This is really weird, guys. This is a weird situation. But you know what? We're together always, no matter what. Yeah. Okay. okay. Fuck my life! <laughs> okay. I was just fucking so pissed. I couldn't believe they did that. I couldn't believe they demerged us into two tribes. It's so messed up. And you know, I called it. I think I even said that in a confessional a few weeks ago. That I think the biggest thing that could screw us up is more idols or more twists. Like, yeah. I'm just waiting for them to be like, drop your buffs. We are splitting into two tribes. Oh my god. <laughs> I would die. I what would, would you do? I would literally just die. I would just die, yeah. Um, I suck at challenges. Definitely need to win one. That'd be fun. Ha. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for the mix-up this week. That was awesome. <laughs> Tribal, hopefully has a decent fire. It's getting cold, getting hard to survive on this island. Run low on bamboo. Mm. Sticks. Mm. Shrimp. Coconuts. Before I read Ben's email and everything, I had contemplated giving my idol to Will and Emily to make sure that they were both safe at their tribal on that side. But after that email and after knowing that like I can't trust either of them, um, I'm the only person that I'm going to be using that idol on. Ben, that was a good move. You ruined my game. I could have had Aaron as a backup. And Aaron, maybe she would have given it over. I regret dropping from the challenge. Yeah, there's a lot of regrets in this game. So Emily has been my number one ally and for the whole game thus far, and I've told her essentially everything. Um, but now that that's done, um, I think like I am slowly transitioning into Brady being that person. Mel Aaron has the idol, and Aaron's like my number two, right? Or my my number one. Like we're one and two, obviously. Fuck! Fuck! Really fuck! Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm just really down now. I don't know. I, I I guess now is probably not the best time to like work me up because yeah. Emily, I'm down too. I'm sorry. This is really this is an absolute nightmare. Looks like I have a couple of options this week. Option number one is lay low and hope it's not me. That's a pretty good one. Hope that they vote out Emily instead of me. <laughs> If the three of them are strong, we Aliza's got. Aliza's our only hope. Aliza is literally. We need to meet with Devin though, just to like. Get him calm. No, not to get him calm, just to be like, 
human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, can't just sorry. cut him out. No, 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 no. Of course, sorry. I didn't mean to sound cold. Option number two is try to get Eliza to vote out Devin, but I don't think she's gonna like that because she just feels sick about this whole situation right now, and so do I, frankly. I don't know, the way Eliza looked at you at the challenge, she told you, like, it's gonna be okay. Like, maybe she's thinking Devin. She know. hasn't, she's never talked finals with him. She's talked final three with us. She's never had that conversation with Devin before, ever. She, like, promised to bring me and Will to the final three and said she's with me 100% and then if I do this for her, like she'll owe me her life and she'll take me, she'll do whatever she can. And she's like saying how like she gave me immunity last night and how like, like, I don't, like maybe like I owe her. She didn't say that, but like, um, I guess that's like kind of how I would phrase it. I guess my pitch would be that like, I will like work with you like as much as like, like I would, I would, if you kept me this week, I would take you to the end no matter what circumstances happen. Like I would owe you my entire life in the game. Like, yeah. No, I mean, and no, you owe me. I 110% would shake on it. Like, I'd do anything to get you further. <laughs> That's really nice. That's really nice. This was, like, not what I wanted to happen at all. Like, I didn't want to have to choose between Emily P and Devin. But, like, I'm, like, somehow now in this situation, and, like, I would rather go for Emily P. So, if Emily P went the whole Croker Plus Club <laughs> gone one by one except for me, Fuck! Oh god, that would literally be like all of my alliances from the first part of the game are completely gone. <laughs> Just totally in a fish in a new sea by myself. <laughs> oh shit. After reading these texts that Ben sent out, like I'm completely, like completely like no. Like I don't like what Emily P and Will had to say, especially Emily P. Like I really didn't expect that from her. And I don't, I don't, like I want to stick with Sabu Sabu. Like I, I don't want to go with Emily P and with Will. What's fucked up is that those three are sitting over there right now deciding our fate. They're just sitting around, just having conversations. Should it be Will? No, which one of them would like hold the grudge more against us? Or which one it would be more afraid of for Sabu Sabu? Emily, I know Emily's afraid of Sabu Sabu. Emily P has been my best friend in this game. And I told her I'd never throw her under the bus. But this bus is heading for both of us, and somebody's got to jump out of the way. I feel like I have more trust in Will than I have in Emily, just because I feel like I've talked to Will more than I've talked to Emily. And like Will's told me things where like, yeah. like, where like I feel like I didn't feel as like I didn't feel like Emily like felt the need to share about them. I gotta hold on for my life and hope I make it through this one. That's all I got. I don't got a scheme, I don't got a plan, I don't got anything crazy, I just, I'm just looking for mercy. This is this whole experience has, has really been one of the most painful experiences of my life. It's been incredibly rewarding, I've had high highs. I've had incredibly high highs, but I've had very low lows too. This has completely infected every aspect of my life right now. It's horrible, really. It, it, it's it's it completely, completely taken over and consumed who I am, playing this game, trying to, trying to keep Trying to slip ahead of these fuckers one by one. Oh, God. This is very, very, very bad. This is worst case scenario. That's what I wanted to do from day one. I wanted to come in here with 18 people, and I wanted to be the last one left. And me being the last one left means me beating Emily P. Yep. So Austin is our hope. Austin's our savior. Yet again, the person we were going to vote out is the one that we need. I know, I know, I know. We need to just, instead of voting those people out, every, every week we need to be like, who would we vote out? Okay, let's work with them. I'm just hoping that you'll take into consideration when voting the fact that without me, you wouldn't have oh, yeah. been here in this position. A hundred percent. I still owe you guys my life in the game. You need to basically play into everything that Austin likes. Honesty, loyalty, all of the tenets of Innovatrium that he talks about. I saved him. So you saved him. You saved me. You gotta pull the, every single heartstring that boy has. You gotta make him think that Should there's nothing. Maybe cry. I, I'm taking everything into account. Like, okay. I, I respect all of you enough to my decision probably won't be made until I sit down and vote. He's gonna go into his little confessional booth. He's gonna go. <sighs> He's 
gonna be there for like five He's gonna minutes. stare at the note for five minutes. He's gonna play it up when he already knows what he's doing. And then the camera shot's just gonna be him making that first ink stroke of a letter without you actually seeing what the letter is, and then it'll cut away. And then the tension will build. Because you start a D and an E the same way. Let me just say, the letter E is a lot harder to write. You should just not write it. Today is brought to you by the letter D. Or Sesame Street, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's not I funny. I love Sesame Street. It's pretty good. Sunny days, talk about birds away. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Check your emails. I would love to say check your emails and not have sent anything so everyone's yeah. panicking because they didn't get it. <laughs> Here, I'll play it for you. Like, I wanted to say check your emails and then you open up the, the email and it's, and it's this. Check your emails. <laughs> Does whatever a spider can Spins a web any size Catches thieves just like flies Look out! There comes a spider-man Okay, I'm done. <laughs> That's how I go out, bitches. I guarantee you. Okay. I will shake your hand right now so you know. You would have me 110%. And Will. You would have Will. Because Will, we we had a, we cried together yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> because we knew that the likelihood was it was one of us. Oh, man. So, I have been a wreck the past couple days. We are two of the people that want to be here the most. I know, I know you guys want to be here. I, you're making a very strong case, to be honest. And she was being very convincing that I should get out Devin, and that her, Will, Lisa, and myself go to the final four. If you want to start taking your game into your own hands, that's true. It would be your game because otherwise you're just moving your pack to the end. That's true. It was. I don't know. Like if I vote out Devin, I know I still have Lisa's back. I know I still have Will and Emily's back. You would have me. I would do anything for you. Okay. I would literally like. No, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> if I hear Austin's name, someone's getting punched. Oh. <laughs> like, Your grandma's not gonna be happy. <laughs> Grandma's gonna be like, Emily, you were calling people names, and then you're punching people. <laughs> Emily P. has been essentially playing on Austin's emotions uh, and trying to manipulate him to vote with them and get me out. I'm not going to promise anything, but I honestly don't want to write your names down. I yeah. don't think I'm going to do that. Will you tell us what they want to go for? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be pretty open with everybody, I think. I don't know. I honestly have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. Wait, so you wouldn't stick with Sabu Sabu? Well, I want to. Like, honestly, I want to hear everybody out. You guys, I love you all so much. I have nothing but the most, like, profound respect and admiration for all four of you. And, like, if you're watching this, if this makes it in, like, I want you to know just how much this is already tearing me up inside. Okay. Austin, you make me so nervous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, guys, I don't want to make a promise that I'm going to have to go back on. No, you don't need to. Don't worry. Yeah. If I promise you guys, I'm not going to write one of your things down. And then I decide to do that. Oh, like, what kind of person that would be? Right? It's been a crazy week. Um, Austin has definitely taken me on a emotional roller coaster. Thanks, Austin. Good morning. Instead of night. Good morning. Oh, no, what I mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I told you. I told. I told you. This is absurd. I'm so absurd. Like I'm totally shocked. Don't I look like I've been he like through hell today? Like I ate. I'll show you. Like I, that. Like the idea that like that would have like been, would have been us is like mind blowing to me. 
I ate one and a half quarts of Brookie Brownie and Cookie ice cream. Deluxe. You know what that means? I'm like a superhero. If I vote out Devin, it means I'm stuck with Austin and Emily. Like they will be my closest allies and like, I'm sorry, but if I have to spend the rest of the game with Austin as my closest ally, I'm gonna blow my brains out. Just saying that like, this is, today has literally felt like a breakup. I ate a gallon of ice cream, I watch lots of TV. Like, I look like a complete scrub. I'm wrapped in a blanket on the couch, like, whatever. emotional about this. I really am. And it's it's been eating me up all day. Alright, now we'll bring in the members of our jury. Ben voted out at the last tribal council. All right, guys, welcome to your next tribal council. We'll start with that man right over there. As he was leaving, obviously, uh, sent an email out. Emily, did that have any effect on this week? Um, I think it did. Um, I was hoping that people would take into account the fact that those are things said months ago when we were playing feeding off of each other's nastiness and like we all had a part in that and I've, I've apologized to Aaron and I've told everyone I feel really bad but I know it affected Elisa's thoughts of me this week and um, I, I feel really bad for some of the text sent but I hope people take into account the fact that that was over a month ago and like I haven't been like that since we put it out. Elisa, how did Ben's act right before he left change this week? I mean, it definitely changed everything. Like, I think that, like, like I had heard, I guess, kind of what had that, like, things with Aaron were kind of iffy, like, from earlier in the game. But, like, I guess, like, seeing it kind of, like, was, like, whoa. And I was definitely, like, taken aback by, like, some of the things that said. And I want to say that, like, if you have, like, like, I still, like, think you're an amazing human being. Like, and, like, it kind of, like, shook me in terms of, like, trust maybe. But, like, I still think that, like, like, I still think you're, like, an amazing, nice so like I just think it's like the game. So, I like, hope yeah. you like take into account the fact that like I played an extremely loyal game this entire game. Like when I was working with Ben and Will, I was with them 100% yeah. until I found out that Ben wanted to vote out Will at the merge. Yeah. And then when I chose to work with you guys and keep Austin and Emily both that tribal when everyone was pushing for them to go, like we decided to work with you guys and we were going to be loyal all the way. And we chose you instead of just getting stuck in a tribe with you. Yeah. No, you played like a great game and I think every decision you made was really smart and like really helpful to me. So like yeah, like I can't deny that in any sort of way. Austin, you were on a tribe uh, after the swap with Will and Emily and they worked with you to vote out Chloe. Um, how does that vote a couple votes ago now affect this vote? So you save someone in this game and it's just, it's really rough when you see just like how little that means to them. When to, like people say they owe you and then as soon as the time where they could pay that back, that favor, it seems to have been washed away in the wind. So Devin, does that mean the three Sabu Sabu are sticking together this week? Um, honestly, I think it's more up in the air than people think. Um, Obviously, it's a group decision and everyone um, has their own inputs, but at the end of the day, I think individual, individually people will vote for themselves. Emily, do you feel like there's anybody in the middle at all this week that's kind of controlling the vote or not really? Um, some people, I don't know. Like, I'm not asking people to do what's bad for their game. Like, if you move forward and whatever decision you make happens to be something that benefits you, Okay, I'll respect that, but if, like, because you didn't do this, like, I would hold that against people when I, if I'm just sitting on the jury. Like, the fact that, like, if it, if every bad move reflects poorly on the game. So, Austin, if it is Will or Emily tonight, how do you go choosing between those two? 
Um, I can barely look at them like I'm. Because I can barely look at any of them. Because you're upset or because you have to vote one of us out? Well, I, I don't want to do this because I genuinely care about everybody. It's not, it's not good at all because I know how badly everybody wants to be here and how hard everyone's playing and how much respect they have for the game. And it's like what I said, I'm not going to let what happened a month ago dictate how I feel now. And what matters to me more is right now how I'm feeling in this moment. All right, and it is time to vote. Austin, you are up first. First time I've ever been really sad to write someone's name down. If I go home tonight, I can guarantee you this is the only time I'm ever writing your name down because you've done nothing in this game and will never deserve to win. And if you guys keep up this kumbaya crap, like none of you are gonna win. If anyone has a hidden immunity item and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Okay, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the Tribal Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Devin. <laughs> Emily. Emily. Two votes Emily, one vote Devin, two votes left. Ninth person voted out and the second member of our jury. Emily, it's enough, come bring me your torch. Austin. I'm so sorry. No, I'm just telling you, you are not gonna win this game if you continue to just swing the tribal lines because you were the first to go, if that. Emily, Eliza, Will, and I were in a Final Four alliance, and you were going to be the first one of the bridge room to go, and that was the plan. And I'm, you know, I can guarantee that's okay. I'm guaranteeing you guys that Brady's got two votes in the jury right now. Emily, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> I stuck my own torch. <laughs> Time for you to go. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm sure it was a tough vote for all of you, but as we get down in numbers, they will only get harder. Grab your stuff, head on out. Good night. I'm trying to figure out if Will voted for me or not, and I'm thinking he did, and they only showed four votes, so that makes me think he definitely voted for me because if there was any more variance, I would have seen another vote. I'm really sorry. I didn't throw you under the bus. I just jumped out of the way. And so I'm a bitter juror and I told today I told Brady all the information he needs to get through in this game and I'm hoping he uses it and makes it there. And I wasn't planning to do this until I realized that you were charming the hell out of me and I was believing everything you were saying. And I realized I can't fall for that again. So I have to do this, and I know how much you want to be here, and I know how hurt you're going to be about this. But I really appreciate every second I got to spend with you. You're an amazing person. And I'm really, really, really sorry that I have to do this right now. <laughs> Austin's a joke. He's not getting anywhere. And gosh, good for them though, I guess. I can't wait. I guess I'm not the last Emily standing, and maybe I'll pass my classes now that I'm out. Damn.
I talked to Aaron after this challenge. Hello, worst case scenario. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hal has approached. <laughs> Hal has arrived. Um, <laughs> sorry. um, so I talked to Aaron and like as as of now, like Aaron and I are gonna work together and our first plan was to like wait a day or so and then like each talk to Brady individually and tell him about how Cassie and Dylan wanted him out and voted for him or like Cassie would wait I'm <laughs> wait Austin just like let me finish my thought I'm trying to give messages to Emily B to reach out to Dylan and Cassie because I feel like we could work with them he's telling me that he still doesn't like Brady um I just don't want to show my cards right now and show that I do have a relationship with Dylan we're gonna try to get him to vote with us on either Cassie on either Cassie or Dylan. Try and convince Brady that like Cassie and Dylan are against him and get him to vote with us. Yeah. That could be our move. Wait, that could be our move. Cause I'm not talked to Brady game at all. Like he's never reached out to me. I've mm -hmm. never reached out to him. But like the last couple of tribals and like challenges, I feel like I've like talked with him a lot. Sort of what I was thinking is I just was sort of struck by the fact that like last week, like Cassie who had not talked to me before, one-on-one, -on -one, like, made a point of reaching out to me to tell me that she really wanted you out and that her and Della were very tight and that they both wanted you out and she wanted me to get more people to vote for you. Mm -hmm. Like, they clearly, even when whatever, like, original to PD or whatever, like, didn't have the numbers, like, they even then, like, still wanted to get you out even though you were one of their Which numbers. Yes. So I feel like that, like, could continue later on. I guess it's all the producer's fault <laughs> in the end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just write down Cooper's name. Oh my god, I'm gonna write down Cooper's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just put him down in the corner of your real vote. Um, Wait, did you vote for Brady at this last... Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm excited to work with like with Dylan and Cassie and everything, and I think like ideally this for our tribe should be an easy vote. Like I, I just like I with them just like giving it back and forth. I'm like I just like no one ever told me about it. Right. And and then Ben was like the first person to come to me afterwards and explain what happened, and I was just, okay. and I was just like like and then Brady never came and told me what happened between the, okay. between the next tribal. He never came and told me. He never explained what happened yeah. or anything like that, and so I was just like, like I just kind of like, yeah, I was just like between the two of you, I feel like I trust Ben more because he like actually explained what's going on, and then all of a sudden this idol's just sitting around and like you didn't say anything. I gotta talk to Cassie. I gotta talk to Dylan. We gotta shore some fucking things up because I need them. Long game. <laughs> all right, first things first. We're back. We're, we're back. Yeah. We're back. We're not. We're not just each other. I'm sorry for <laughs> you. I'm sorry was, for yeah. buying that. That's like, that, yeah. Was yeah. Just, it was just like, he literally right before tribal, and I was kind of like, yeah. I, like, I just saw that, and then it was like, I was sus the fuck out. I was like, uh oh. Yeah. yeah. Basically, just bought into Brady's bullshit that um, Ben had the idol, gave to him, and then Brady gave it back. Absolute baloney. But Cassie and I are like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, basically regained his trust that way. I'm sorry I tried to kill you last week, but we still love you. <laughs> Actually, it was only Dylan. Like, you would have a moment. So yeah, that's true. I didn't to come for you anyway. And hopefully they'll, like, the relationship will be good and stuff. And it's just, it's so muddy. It's so muddy. But literally, my long-term plan that I was telling, like, both Dylan and Aaron was me. Dylan, Cassie, Aaron. Next week, there's us four together. Just allowed him to do what he did back on Defeaty, and that was just make the moves, let him control what's going on, and then just let us be silent and make our own decisions. I feel like they probably are solely figuring out that I'm the biggest threat, but also they're, I think they want to get to the end too. Probably just buy into what he's saying for like a week or so 
secure our spot and then he's gotta go he's gotta go I'm tired of it not only was it enough for Emily P to shit on me for the full game but she also had to blow up my game on her way out by telling everyone that I have an idol I told Dylan Cassie like because I would assume someone would tell them either way, and I'd rather them hear it from me. Like, believe me, like, I'm so sorry that, like, this came out. I just, like, like, someone was going to tell them at some point. Mm -hmm. And, like, we were talking about, like, the tribal and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of like, oh, like, what'd you hear? What'd you hear? What'd you hear? Right. Oh. <laughs> then for some godforsaken reason, Brady thinks it's okay to tell Dylan and Cassie as well. And I think it would just make them trust us less, get us out of time, but told them it's enough. I agree with that part. I for sure agree with that part. I just wish you wouldn't, like, yeah, at least, like, it. run it by me before you said anything to me. I am just hoping that I can talk to Dylan and Cassie tomorrow and try and convince them that, uh, you know, I will be a number for them going forward, which I totally would be. At this point, I am team Tafiti all the way. No, I definitely want to want to like move forward and do stuff. And like I haven't ever sat down with Emily, so like I don't have like a reason to think that she'd be willing to do something next week. Right. And like I've obviously talked to you before. And, you were super cool with like joining us. And, yes, like, that's absolutely. like one of the reasons like why like Cass and I wanted you with us. I think Emily B is a threat, which is why I want her out. Because I think that she's very smart, she's very strategic, and I would have wanted her to go before Austin anyway, which is why I'm happy about this opportunity to get her out now. And that, that's also like a tough part is you have to start thinking about jury now. Too. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like you can't just fuck somebody over. Nope. Um, you gotta think about like who the jury like enjoys the most exactly. at this point. Exactly. Between Cassie or Dylan, I feel like they're like voting the same. So Cassie had like reached out to me the prior week, so I like felt that was a better move. So like at this point, like yeah, like I really like Erin and I really don't like the way she was treated and I like Mm -hmm. want her in the game but I realistically know that it's like me or her mm -hmm. going tonight and like it is getting to the point where it's like an individual game so I obviously like want me to stay in instead of her. There's only five people so two is like a huge group. Um, I don't know we're just we're <coughs> trying to figure it out but I don't know where we're gonna go at this point to be totally honest. The first couple weeks when I was like explaining things to my, my parents they were like oh my god this sounds exactly like medical school. Like, everyone was just like, because the like, doctors said, like, Emily's just so cut throat. Like, yeah. Well, what? And they're like, Emily, don't turn into that in real life. Be careful. Like, yeah. and I was like, okay. It's just not a good week to be named Emily, to be honest. Alright guys, welcome to your tribal council. Brady, we'll start with you. You won the challenge this week and elected to join this tribe. How does it feel to be safe when there's only five people at tribal? Honestly, it feels amazing. Like, this is a beautiful feeling that I haven't felt in a long time. Last week, obviously, right before Ben gets voted out, he sends out an email. How is that kind of shaking up the game going forward? been a time. Uh, personally, I had to take a couple days for myself just to realign and reevaluate everything. <coughs> and um, I've kind of, I've very much opened up my game to a whole different, like a whole different method after that. Emily, I think it's no secret. Sabu Sabu now has the most members left of any of the original tribes. Do you think that comes into play this week? 
I mean, I think it's a possibility that it could. I think everyone's been hyper focused on the fact that there are four sab original Sabu Sabus left, and I think that like so many things have happened during the game that have just changed everything and like changed my perceptions of different people and everything. So I think that it's kind of silly to focus on something so intently that was just from the beginning. Brady, obviously your name was written down the last tribal council you were at. Does that make, or how does that make you feel moving forward with some of the people on this tribe? I mean, it obviously makes me nervous, but I'm trying to take it week by week and I won this beautiful piece of jewelry. So <laughs> I'm feeling great. <laughs> so Aaron, do you think when the tribes come back together, it's gonna to be completely different than when they were all together before? I think that, yeah, I think a lot of dynamics are going to change. I don't know if completely different is the right way to put it. I think that there's still been themes throughout this this whole uh, this whole game that are going to continue to hold true. But I think that there are definitely certain inner workings and certain gears of the game that are going to be shifting. All right, then it is time to vote. So my vote is for Cassie, but honestly Cooper and Matt TBH. Mom and Dad, I want to say I'm sorry for swinging so much on this season. I'm still a Christian boy. I'll go tally the votes. Alright, if anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. <laughs> I'm good, Cooper. Thanks for asking. All right, once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Emily. Cassie. Emily. Tenth person voted out and the third member of our jury, Emily. That's three tonight, that's enough. Emily, the tribe has spoken. Time for you to go. I heard Emily P said last night that Brady had two votes for him now. I'd like to say he has three votes for him. All right, well with only eight people left, it's getting closer to the final tribal, and there you will need jury votes. It looks like some are already ahead of others. Grab your stuff, head on out, good night. Next week on Survivor Michigan. I mean, especially if Brady's at the end, sitting at final tribal council, I think that he'll probably get Ben's vote, he might get Emily's vote, like. We kind of realized that, you know, Brady is a huge threat. I am the biggest threat in this game by far. So that means that Aaron just voted with them and somehow they were okay with it, with her still having the idol in the game, so. <sighs> yeah, it's okay. So, just three sobby sobby strong now, but it's fine, <laughs> it's good. I really wish I could have put a P at the end of this. Wow, that was something.